Hold me tight, 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 tight All the darkest secrets I have A violent throne Hi! So, if you follow me on Instagram or you're probably here because you follow me on Instagram I designed a t-shirt for Valentine's Day I was looking for a oversized baggy t-shirt that whom to sleep in basically and i was trying to find something i like i like a print bold like a print graphic tee and i was trying to find one that i liked but everything i found didn't really have a message that i believed in so i just realized i could actually design my own t-shirt i'm <laughs> nearly i'm a designer come here I'm a designer, I'm an artist, so I can actually design this. Millie is trying to decide if she comes on the bed or not. Do you want to come on the bed? <laughs> Do you want to come on the bed? Come on! <laughs> ah, silly goose. <laughs> so, like I was saying, Millie is joining us now. Can I catch you? No? Okay, okay. I was trying to find a t-shirt that I liked and that had print with a message that I believed in. I'm a Christian and a lot of the messages that I saw out there were like very negative towards love or just not things that I believe in, okay? So I was like, I can design my own t-shirt, so I did. And it just arrived. So let's open it and see what it looks like. I ordered two one like an oversized i think i hope and another one to give away so let's see what this looks like extra large so this is mine <laughs> boy let me look at it i like it it's really cool okay i'm gonna try this on and this one um is a really big elizabeth this is yours but i think this is huge how is this an m very large Yeah, it's a little bit smaller than the extra large, but here we are. All right, I'm going to try it on and let's see what it looks like. cute it is oversized like i wanted it to be but look at that on the screen it looks cute i like it um it's the first t-shirt that i've ever designed so obviously some things i would change like i think i would put the um, never alone bit lower and maybe make it a bit like chunkier like taller but overall i really like it as i bet you're getting yours even though it's huge for you i'm pretty sure it is what you guys think i love the colors and now i have my new pajamas so excited it's exactly what i wanted it's my first t-shirt that i've ever designed i'm really happy with it a little surprise there was also a second design that i posted on instagram for you guys to vote and because i'm a bit obsessive i also printed that one so i'm gonna try that one as well to show you one sec here it is this one is the, um, the Walk by Faith, Not by Sight. I love the message and I always wanted a t-shirt that on the back or like somehow had a message in it. There's all this thing about like, you know, walking 
and when someone sees you walking it's not in my own because we're christian it's not in our own strength we walk by faith i love the message that even if it seems like things won't work out we have the strength to keep pushing through because we are now walking in our own strength again this guy should probably be like here right so it's just good to do, print it out and do like this run so i can sort of play with these things but the main thing about this t-shirt is that the back says not by sight so at the front it says walk by faith and at the back it says not by sight so let me show you the back All I got is nah, nah, ah. But I got smoke in my eyes I'm blind, blind No time for the nonsense Nah, nah, nah Try to smoke it away Don't take mine These are the two t-shirts that I designed. Um, what did you guys do for Valentine's Day? I know Valentine's Day was a few days ago, but the t-shirts only arrived today on the 16th. Yeah, how was your Valentine's Day? I have a very chill Valentine's Day. I find that people don't like Valentine's because two things. One, if they are single. I didn't like Valentine's when I was single. I always wished that I had someone until I realized or I embraced the concept of like dating myself and one day i just realized what it, what is it that i would like to do on valentine's day and i just started doing that like really i'm a very chill person i mainly like food i like quality time i like chilling and i like planning like i like obsessively planning for the future whilst ultimately chilling if that makes sense so i really enjoy buying new bed linen cleaning my space, making sure my room is really tidy and then chill in my bed, in my bedroom and have my candles on, my fake candles on, I have fake candles on because I can be trusted with real candles and I like to fall asleep with them on, like that's a whole other story, let's not go into that and then I like to plan for the future, so this year for Valentine's I did a new financial spreadsheet I'm... yeah that's the kind of thing that I think is fun. And yeah, it's the second reason why I think people don't like Valentine's Day is because they think they have to do the traditional stereotypical thing. If your idea of fun is not a romantic dinner with your boyfriend or your girlfriend and a bouquet of red roses and chocolates, then don't do that for Valentine's Day. You know what I mean? But people tend to go with the cliche Thing, and then I think it becomes not very nice because it's not personalized to you it's a commercial holiday where people are all going to the supermarket and buying the overpriced bouquet of flowers it's about really understanding what you like to do and how do you feel excited how do you feel loved what is your love language maybe you are the kind of person that prefers to go on adventures or you're someone that prefers to do an activity or you're someone that enjoys a more chilled dinner or you prefer to get takeaway at home i would challenge you to just be intentional on valentine's day and to understand what your love language is what your partner's love language is and explore those besides the cliche red rose and expensive dinners in restaurants that are really crowded and really overpriced i agree those things are not nice they can be quite stressful but why, so why are you doing them i don't understand Thanks for being here. I hope you had a good Valentine's Day and I hope you have a great rest of the month. There's a lot of things happening, but we're gonna get through it in Jesus' name. Bye.